Okay, everyone, this is Igor from Brazil, and today I'm going to show you uh, a Moonstalker deck with Eovoid Leviathan. So let's just go through the deck, see what it's all about, and then we'll play against the AI. So I can take my pace and show uh, what's the thought behind it. So the whole deal about the Leviathan is that uh, it gets a plus one, plus one. Whenever any player uses any kind of uh, ability that is activated through uh, Shadow Energy. And Moonstalker is good at it because he gets to use it every three turns. So there you see. So whenever you play Leviathan at T5, you get uh, just right out, out of the bat a uh, Stealth and a plus one plus one. And at T6, which is exactly the next turn, you get another stealth and another plus one plus one. So what, what we gotta do is that we ha we have to fill our deck with, with cards that use shell shell energy. And the uh, the Shadow of Fates came with is a very good card at it, which is this one. The Voracious Arachnid. Um uh, we all know what it does. It uh, uses one shell of energy to kill any other ally and any other opposing ally with a with a cost less than the Voracious Reckoned attack, and uh, it gets a plus one attack whenever it kills anything. So we will be using that a lot, and not only pumping and uh, buffing the Voracious Reckoned itself, but also uh, the Leviathan. And it will get a lot of help from this card right here, which is the Bloodthirsty, that uh, that allows for whenever you kill anything, you draw a card, and that ally gets a plus one attack. So I reckon it, when he uses it, it gets a plus two, because that's plus one from killing and a plus one from Bloodthirsty. So you get a plus one from killing, from plus one from Bloodthirsty. You buff uh, Leviathan in a draw card, so it's a pretty amazing. And it can get very big very fast and we'll see uh, if you can get to, to use it uh, when playing and uh, the, there's other things that will happen we get to them at, at, at that time uh, we need we, with this kind of deck we need some cheap removal or chip killing that allows you to pump your uh, arachnid you know, Arachnid comes with comes with one attack, so he can't kill anything. You know, less than one is zero, and there's no ally with zero cost. So when when it gets to two, two attack, it can kill anything that costs one, and there's pretty uh, few uh, allies that costs one. So it, it has to 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 get buffed real soon, and so for that we will use a lot of cheap killing things. So we will we will use. Uh, four now you're mine, and also uh, four of the death from above, so it can kill anything from four CC or below. So it's pretty powerful, and it will help uh, buff the arachnid very quickly. So imagine, let's see if we can get it. But imagine playing on T five, a death from above, and a bloodthirsty, so we can get a. I can 8 attack Arachnid in one turn on T5. We'll see about that real soon. Then, as for draw engine, we, we are looking for uh, various options. We need a lot of draw because we have cheap things and we have cheap allies, cheap spells. We need them coming out very quickly. So, we need, uh, we will use the Breath of Forest. We'll try to use it. That's three of it. Bloodthirst itself is a draw engine because uh, if we can use it, if we can, if we, we can use it, it will allow a draw. And there's also the Aldmore Conduit. Let's see it. There we go. Uh, any player can use it. So it, whatever player uses uses it, play pays one shadow energy for a draw. So you don't want to use it before you play the Leviathan. You want to use it after you do because you will get the draw and buff Leviathan 
the other player can also use it but he it will he will be aware that he is buffing your Leviathan so he will have to give a lot of thought on it okay so that's like three card his like if this is situational so he, you don't use it every time so you don't need four of it so three is good enough you will don't it will don't show up uh, every time eventually it will come up and you will use it uh, more of a finisher than anything else so what you need for bloodthirsty and uh, the wrath of force is a it's a complicated card it's it's hard to have a draw engine at 4 cc because you will lose a tempo so four of it is too much three is pretty nice here so you have a draw engine you have the core mechanics which is uh, based on Leviathan and uh, Arachnid here's a kind of a double card you get the draw you get the the, the buffs then you need some item destruction I used to play with six item destruction card cards like uh, and uh, if I had to balance the the resource curve I, I would use like two two uh, Shriek of Vengeance two Ace of Jets and two Leyline Nexus uh, but since Shadow of Fates came out I'm uh, I either go full out on item destruction or I use two dawn raids you know it, uh, they kill like each dawn raid kills two items with cost four or less it doesn't have to be any kind of weapon or armor it fits any item fits so as though it's 4 cc it's good enough so with this with these two cards I can kill like eight items which is good enough then I need a weapon I, I know I want to make a, a deck that is capable of fighting anything so I need a weapon it's very hard to be out in the open without allies and having nothing to fight back so a weapon is very good and the groom's whip which you can see right here it also have an ability activated with shadow energy it gives a plus one damage it, it damages the ally with one but gives it two plus attack and uh, it's very interesting to use it with the leviathan because it will not damage it it will damage but the Leviathan gets plus one on life points so it's uh, it's neutral but it, it gets two plus attack from the weapon and and uh, the plus one from the, the Leviathan's buff so it's a plus three it's very powerful it's a two four it can last uh, for a very long time only using the the, the shallow energy it's very decent and we'll be seeing it in action very soon so to fill, fill, fill up the deck, I need a 2cc drop, and it's for Shell Allies. I could use the uh, Harbinger of the Lost, but I don't like to, to uh, discard anything. I don't, I don't want to risk discarding anything else, so I would run with a staple Ironhead, Ironhide Garage. And I need another 3cc three, three drop. Uh, I had four Arachnids, and I need something else. I could go with Gargoyles, but... Uh, just like death collector more you know it's it's uh, three attack and uh, it can feed from killing uh, killed en uh, enemies <laughs> so you you imagine uh, t4 on t3 you drop the, the death collector on t4 you play like a capture uh, not uh, your mine and you already have room for another two and the buff of plus one plus one on death collector so it's a four five on t4 which is very powerful so you can't you can't do that with the gargoyle so i think that's pretty much it let's see how it performs on uh against the ai and uh i won't take it to qm qm because uh against the ai i can play it at my own pace so let's see how it goes against Boris and uh, Boris is a difficult uh, guy because he can take some of my some of my arachnids on t4 so I have to to think this true you know playing against a Ledman is tough too let's see how it goes okay <laughs> 